Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to another quick review. And uh, this one will be really quick, I would think. So I don't really have too much to talk about, about this game. I mean, what needs to be said, guys, it's Doom. What an absolutely fantastic game this is. Uh, so I'm going to be commenting on the, the PlayStation 1 version. I'm going to be commenting on the Ultimate Doom. Because this has actually got Doom, uh, Ultimate Doom and Doom 2 on one disc, which I have absolutely no idea. I thought on the PlayStation there were like two separate games on two separate discs. Uh, but apparently not. I know Final Doom's a separate game. Uh, but yeah, I had no idea Doom 2 was on this. It's pretty damn cool, you got two games in one, basically. So this is going to be a quick review and also a mystery as well. I didn't encounter this specific thing which I was supposed to encounter, but I didn't. I have absolutely no idea why I didn't encounter this monster, uh, but I didn't. So that was quite strange. I mean, first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the box art. Look at that. Try tell me that's not an a badass box art. Look at that. The guy in the middle with a shotgun, you've got a monster on the right and a monster on the left. It just looks bloody badass, doesn't it? Look at that. And uh, plus it's a big box, all of my big box games. You actually get the single box as well, but uh, big box all the way as far as I'm concerned, I love my big box games. As for the gameplay of Doom, what needs to be said, it's quite straightforward. All you've got to do is basically make your way to the exit, uh, do this by finding keys to open certain doors. Uh, killing monsters along the way, collecting guns, collecting ammo. Quite a good selection of uh, guns actually. There's actually eight different uh, weapons in the game. There's a chainsaw, uh, I suppose your fist as well actually comes to the weapon. It's crap, I never use it. Uh, there's a pistol, shotgun, there's like a special shotgun you get as well. Which I believe you only get in Doom 2. Could be wrong, but I've only encountered it in Doom 2. Uh, I've started Doom 2 by the way, but I've not really played too much of it. There's a chain gun, there's rocket launcher, there's this laser plasma gun I think it's called and there's this big thing that fires this like green explosive laser thing which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you don't get too much ammo for that though so um, you have to really use that wisely. The level design in Doom I thought was really really good, you know the lighting, colour, stuff like that. Uh, it sounds like a simple thing, but it's kind of a thing I really do pay attention to, like locations, like different scenery. I don't like, personally don't like seeing like the same scenery over and over again. And uh, that's another good thing I like about Doom, it has like a variety. Places that look really fiery, like, like the depths of hell, and you've got like places that look like dungeon kind of areas. So um, it's quite a wide variety, uh, which I really, really like. Gives the game a bit of a variety, in my opinion. Uh, I liked most of the levels. There was a couple I was a bit annoyed about. I can't remember what the name of the level was. Uh, give me a minute. A Wimbo. That's what it was called. So if anyone's played all in Doom, you might know what Wimbo is. It's a really big area. You've got to like find these secret switches. Uh, you've got to go over lava and things. And I just kept running out of radiation suits. So um, I just kept going in the lava and dying, basically. Uh, the levels got quite a lot of enemies in it, uh, which is kind of bloody tough, but the thing that got me was just the fact that I couldn't actually um, find these switches, because you need to find so many switches to raise these platforms so you can collect uh, the different keys so you can escape the level. Uh, that was probably my least favourite level in the entire game, believe it or not. But um, like I say guys, there was a couple I didn't really like, uh, that was one of them. I mean, a lot of people actually like the level, they think it's a really, really well designed and a really good level. Just the fact that it's really big and it's quite... It requires you to think and like, try and find stuff. Uh, that's kind of probably why I didn't like it, that's not really my kind of thing. Uh, but the majority of levels in Doom were really, really good. Next we'll go on to the different monsters in the game. Uh, it's actually quite a decent variety, I think there's eight. So um, it's quite a decent variety for a, you know, an old PS1 uh, FPS. So I've got my little manual out here, and I'll go through some of these enemies, I guess. Uh, the, the human guys, the, the soldier guys, they're not really human either. Uh, but they're just your standard enemies, they're really, really easy to take down. You've got the imps, which are quite quite tough at first, but then you realise they're not really that tough, because you can't earn so many of them in the game. Uh, the shotgun quickly takes care of them. You've got the demons. Or what I like to call them bulls, because they look quite big bull things. Uh, quite tough, actually. I do think probably the shotguns are actually quite decent against them as well. You've got the lost souls, little skull things. 
Uh, they're really fast and um, yeah, they like to get behind you and if they get behind you they'll bloody attack you from behind. And um, yeah, they're so fast but take them up quite easily really but just their, uh, their speed can be quite annoying. You've got the Kako Demons, or I just call it the big round guy. Uh, quite tough, they can actually take quite a lot of shotgun shells. I prefer to use like the, the plasma gun or a, a rocket against them because they actually, they actually take quite a few shotgun shells. You've got the Knights of Hell who again take lots of bullets. I would say the best uh, weapon for them is either the chain gun or the, or the rocket launcher. The <laughs> rocket launcher takes care of anything really. Uh, that's probably my preferred weapons to take on the Knights of Hell. You've got the Baron of Hell, who is the same kind of enemy, to be honest. Uh, you've got the Chain Gunner, who I don't remember too much about him, to be honest. Uh, you've got the Mancubus, who was actually... I think they only, they only fought one of him in the game. Took quite a lot of hits. You've got the Cyber Demon, who was a big pain in the arse. He's got a rocket launcher and he takes so many bloody hits to kill. And he kills you in like three or four hits. So he's a pain in the arse as a cyber demon. This was the mystery. This guy. Spidering. It was a, what's it? Arachnatron. He's called Arachnatron. And I never encountered him. Never encountered him. That's a mystery. You've got the Revenant, who's like a skeleton thing. Don't really remember him, to be honest. Uh, Spectre, who was just like an invisible bull guy, annoying, especially in dark rooms because you couldn't bloody see him. Uh, Spider Demon, again, didn't encounter him. And I think that does it for the, no wait a minute, you've got a Nightmare Spectre, who was another invisible guy, invisible guys are annoying. You've got the, the Pain Elemental. It was kind of like the, the Kaku Demon, but it was kind of, had like a metal sound to him. And once you killed him, those like skull head things would come after you, because he kept spitting them out of you. So uh, he was quite annoying, took quite a lot of hits. So yeah, going to the mystery, I never encountered any of those like spider, robotic spider things. You know, I mean, I thought they were in Ultimate Doom, you know. But I never encountered them, I don't know why. I played the game in normal mode, which was, I think, hurt me plenty. Just the normal difficulty, the medium difficulty, the third difficulty in the game. And I don't know whether you have to play it on a harder difficulty or something, but, you know, I, I never uncovered him, which was kind of... I was scared to meet him, because I hate spider things. But I'm, now that I've completed and I haven't met him, I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed, you know, I feel a bit underwhelmed. You know, I wanted to take that sucker down. But um, yeah, Doom guys, what can I say, Doom's absolutely fantastic, I uh, really recommend it. I personally love the PlayStation version, I've got the Ultimate Doom on Steam as well. Uh, probably it's better, it looks better on the computer, probably plays better on the computer with the mouse and stuff. And you can save the game at any point, and this you can only like, get the password basically, once you've completed a level. So you couldn't save in the middle of a level, which was... It made the game a lot tougher, because in the PC version you just save any time, you know, so it made it a lot easier. But uh, yeah, Doom guys, fantastic game, loved the, the satisfying sound of the guns as well, especially the shotgun. Shotgun sounds absolutely fantastic, just a satisfying noise when you're shooting shotgun shells at enemies, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, loved the PlayStation 1 Doom, the main theme just sounds absolutely epic. Uh, loved the noises of the enemies and that. Which might sound kind of strange, but the PS1 version does sound different to the PC version, and um, I personally like that as well. So um, yeah, Doom would I recommend it? Damn right, would. Doom is an absolutely fantastic game, and yeah, I highly recommend it. I really, really would. Anyway, guys, that is my uh, quick review. Um, hopefully, this is a quick, is quite a quick review. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think of Doom. Is anybody out there that doesn't like Doom? You know, just leave it in the comments below. I'd be quite interested to know if anyone doesn't like Doom, or if anyone's just not even played Doom. That'd be quite uh, interesting as well. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you know why I didn't encounter the spider, let me know. If you have to like, play it on a harder difficulty, or I don't know. You know. Just let me know in the comments below. 
And uh, yeah guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching. And I might play for Doom 2. Uh, if anyone's played for Doom 2, let me know if you think it's any good or not. Because um, if it's anything like Doom, or Doom 1, the ultimate Doom, I'm going to really, really enjoy it. See you guys.